Early morning again, uh, training at 8 o'clock. I have to admit I'm not training enough, I'm not training as much as I should to achieve my goals. The reason or the excuse is there is a monsoon season at this moment and it's pretty rainy on Katawa. So most of the time, it's just like heavy rain in the morning, I have to cancel a lot of my sessions. Today is a, a high volume training. I'm gonna do one hour, 44 meters. Uh, with the rest for 40 seconds it's actually a big difference not the big difference but uh, it's definitely a difference before I was doing 45 seconds rest and now it is a 40 seconds rest it feels completely different when I was doing 45 seconds it was relatively easy I was not having contractions almost at all now with 40 seconds it's getting a little bit harder and also guys um, one of you asked me about the approach to CO2 tolerance training so this is what I want to address before my pool session. Your first goal, when you're thinking about the CO2 tolerance, it should be how I can produce as less CO2 as possible. And this is a question of your technique. So the better your technique, the more efficient it is, the more streamlined you are, then to cover the same distance, whether it is depth or whether it is a pool, you're gonna produce less CO2. So this is, should be your focus number one. But then the focus, like I mean this is going to be always the focus number one after a while you also need to think how you can increase your CO2 tolerance and there is a two approaches approach number one it is uh, expose yourself to high like really really high level of CO2 you can swim with uh, re really really short distances and in this case um, you're gonna have a lot of contractions over a short period of time and it's absolutely fine to do this from time to time However, it's uh, much more toxic, so this is why your body needs more time to recover from such training. And another approach which I prefer is to expose yourself to the elevated CO2 level, but not extremely high CO2 level. So, for example, like this is what I'm doing. I'm doing one hour volume training, and all of this one hour, my CO2 level is going to be higher than normal however not crazy high so this is why i'm going to be able to do it for one hour so this is another approach so one one more time one approach is to uh, expose yourself to extremely high co2 level in a short period of time and another approach to expose yourself to like moderate co2 level for a longer period of time like, I mean, obviously there is no black and white, you can do both from time to time, but I think uh, extreme high CO2 level uh, should be done like really rarely. And this moderate CO2 level, you can do it pretty regularly. So this is what I'm gonna do today. And after I finish, I will give you my feedback. Okay, finished training session. Uh, it was a, a bit of change during my session. I was planning to do volume training however when i was already in the water i just realized that i forgot my dive computer and without the dive computer i couldn't control the surface time so i decided to do intensity training instead and what i did today it was um, third time i did it uh, 80 meters uh, eight times so in total 600 40 meters actually it's more because it is not 80 meters it is 88 meters so eight times 88 meters how it was it was relatively fine um, there's no like accumulation of fatigue which is good it means the shape is uh, getting better so this is what I like uh, technique still need to improve something but more or less satisfied so this as I said uh, was the third time when I did such training so the next time I am gonna do uh, when I gonna do intensity training it's gonna be six times 88 meters 80 uh, no 99 meters so next time it's gonna be six times uh, 99 meters around 600 meters uh, total volume I also did uh, some testing of uh, my uh, new neck weight from Alchemy uh, probably you already saw my review because I'm gonna post it earlier than this uh, video so just a couple of words uh, Alchemy neck weight is a great great product however at least for me this is gonna be only for the open water for the pool 
it is a black and white if you're gonna compare uh, with the lobster uh, the lobster is much more convenient for the pool free diving because again the weight is more uh, the weight is more equally distributed so this is why it's like 10 times more convenient however for the open water session for sure for sure uh, alchemy neck weight is the best neck weight so far which i ever tried like by far by far so comfortable uh, everything is really nice okay guys this is how my training's going um as i said pretty rainy on katawa now this is why my training is not as consistent as i want it to be so this is why more likely uh, my uh, 180 attempt is going to be slightly delayed so initially I was planning to do it end of December, beginning of January. Now I would admit it's unlikely it's going to happen. Uh, so more likely it's going to be end of January. Uh, again, depends on the weather. Okay. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time.